A UNO economist tells me that Omaha's economy has always been steady. And while commercial development may slow, it won't be anything that's drastic. Things like the luminarium still continue to attract a lot of foot traffic downtown, in turn attracting more business. More foot traffic is good for business. That's why Michael Worley, owner of Let's Go Putt, says he will open a new mini golf location in downtown Omaha. Downtown area is just good for my business based on positioning and how we got everything working on our locations. According to Christy Anderson, the vice president of CBRE, the fat putter is one of many businesses opening downtown. CBRE statistics show retail vacancies are less than 7% in Omaha and declining. Look around downtown and you'll see a lot of projects coming out of the ground. One of those projects, the Mutual of Omaha Tower. But large projects like that one are expected to slow as interest rates increase. UNO economics professor Chris Decker says since 2022, commercial building permit numbers have declined. That might show up as a, a slowdown in our, our overall uh, city's uh, economy. Decker says Omaha's economy is steady, so growth would likely decrease less than 1%. But with projects like the tower, downtown could be an exception. That could lift a lot of demand and, and could spur some additional uh, construction and perhaps reconstruction of buildings as well. Anderson believes that will be the case. I know what's happening because my phone rings. So if I'm doing tours and people are looking at space, that means people are wanting to be here. They're back out looking at things and, and that's an optimistic sign for us too. Worley says he's optimistic and even if things do slow down, they'll make it through. We went through Corona and, and the shutdowns and everything before and our business wasn't affected like most businesses are just because we have a unique entertainment. Decker says his prediction is based off Omaha's steady economy the last 50 years, but this could change based on what happens overseas politically. Jessica Perez, KTV Newswatch 7. Jessica, thanks. Warren Buffett is releasing his quarterly report at 7 a.m. Saturday, and that's when doors open at CHI Health Center Arena. Buffett, Charlie Munger, and others will hold a Q&A session around 9 a.m. The shareholders meeting then starts at 4.30. Several events are also taking place all weekend long, and you can find those details in this story at KETV.com.